Hi, my name is James Stone from jamesstone.com, and in this video, I'm going to give a few practical examples of how to create grids uh, from existing websites. So if you see my grid video, you know I give a great introduction there, and I'm going to kind of review very quickly what are kind of the basic foundation grid uh, kind of patterns that you're going to see in the wild. So I'm just going to be drawing really quick right here. But, um, you know, I went through really quick, you know, we have like this idea of full width. This is kind of, you know, your small, medium, or large 12. Um, and then, you know, you might see things divided in half, right? And this is, you know, small 6 and small 6. And then you have a 3 column. And if you remember from the other video, this is going to be small 4, small 4, small 4. Uh, and then a four column layout, which is going to be small three, small three, small three. And then we have this other thing I call the two thirds split. And it's based on the golden ratio, which is like this. And you have a uh, small four here and maybe a small eight here. And then you might reverse this, right? And there's different variations and different ways you might use this. But what I wanted to show you is that these often appear in the wild. And this is going to be the basis for creating almost any website. Okay, so this first example is from the foundation website. And so let's going to kind of go through top to bottom and we're going to break down and look at how these patterns repeat. So here we go. Um, our top here, right? This is probably kind of a two-thirds split. So if I were to guess, this is maybe an eight, and this is a four. Now it could be a nine and a three, but you kind of get the idea. Here, we're looking full width, right? So this is going to be 12 columns wide, and the text here is likely going to be having the text center set on it. And then down here, we have our three columns, right? And so if you remember from before, three columns is, right, four wide each. Right, and down here, likely, they're doing 12 again with it being centered. Okay, and so as we move down the page, you'll see here, we now have a four column layout, and this is kind of to add some visual variation, but again, just like the first one, um, basically our top is going to be 12 columns wide, right? and with centering on the text. And here we are going to have four columns or four up layout. And so since we're dividing by 12, four, right? We're gonna end up with three. So these are all gonna be three columns wide. And again here, 12, and likely we're centering the text. Okay, and so we come to here, we have a little bit different layout. Like the other ones, our top is likely gonna be 12 wide, right, with centering on the text. But here we have a little bit different layout. Now here, I would guess this is probably a one or a two. We're gonna say it's a two. And you'll notice here that the, you know, the column doesn't go all the way across. We have kind of this blank space here. So the way that that is accomplished, let's say that that's an eight and this is a two, right? So we would have something like small uh, two columns, right, for the first one. And then for the second one here, we would have eight, but we'd also add the end class to it, to it as well. So something like small eight columns dot end. And what that will do when you put end, normally they'll end up kind of over here to the right, but by putting end, it's going to kind of push it over flush left. And now we've reached the bottom of the foundation page and we have a couple other variations here and we're gonna have one that we haven't seen before, but it should be pretty straightforward how to do it. And so here we have, again, our large 12. And then here you'll notice we have one, two, three, four, five, six 
That is by no mistake because it's divisible by 12. If you take 12 divided by 6, you're left with 2. So these are all likely two columns wide. And then down here, this looks a lot like our 2 thirds split that I described before. And it might be something like a 4 and an 8 or maybe a 3 and a 9. It doesn't really matter exactly what it is. You can play around with that a little bit. But the whole point here is to kind of recognize these patterns. You'll see again here we have kind of our, you know, two-thirds split with eight and four over here. So this is just meant to be kind of a quick introduction to kind of show you how you might look at different websites and break down the grid to create your own sites. And if you have any questions or you have a site, um, if you can send me a URL or a screenshot, I'm happy to go and break down how you'd break it up using the foundation grid. So let me know in the comments or if you want to leave a video comment or send me a URL in the comments and I will go and add to this video some other examples. Thanks for watching.